Aravinda De Silva. He comes out to replace uh, Guru Singha. Now it's to be Merv Hughes. Oh dear. Well, that was an absolute sitter. I reckon it might have come too slowly for him, Bill. It was miscued by Aravinda De Silva. It really was a dolly, wasn't it? Look at that. He took his eyes off it and put it down, and Alan Border's head went down and squarely, and rightly so, because he made the change. It was right on line. He hit just a fraction too soon. It really was a dolly. I think he tried to catch it hands up rather than hands down. And he missed the sitter. Picked up nicely. Whipped away through mid-wicket. Fine shot. And he was just going on to leg stump. Yeah, back lift. Plenty of power there. Whipped it away. A very risky shot. Always going to be four. Well, Alderman wasn't interested, but others were. And uh, there's definitely a sound. There was a big noise, but whether it was the scraping of the boot or the shirt. Short leg boon, wicketkeeper Healy and the bowler were certainly into the appeal. Very difficult for the umpire, the batsman swinging around with that delivery. Looked, there may have been just a little bit of glove there, hard to say. Here's the first ball after lunch. Oh, what about that? That's a nice start to jump down the pitch to the bowler who's just taken an astonishing number of wickets in the Ashes series in England. No respect there. Yeah, fine shot. in the air but just short of Lawson at mid-on and that'll run away to the boundary. All of them pitching this ball well up and probably closer to off stump than leg stump. Ravinda De Silva picking it away on the leg side slightly in the air but uh, never in real danger and it just manages to get to the, the boundary. The pace seems to be, have been picked up a little bit since the loss of Ahsoka to Silva, certainly Ranatunga has signaled his intentions that he wants to get on with it. I think his partner's picking up on that idea. And just short of Terry Alderman. He does hit the ball in the air a bit too often for my liking, Aravinda. It's four for 163. And uh, calling for the single. Ranatunga was uh, very slow getting off the mark. He's not a good runner between wickets at all. And that's 54, Aravinda De Silva. Have a look at these little back lift here. And he's hit that beautifully onto the dog track. Really got hold of that one magnificently. Well, he gets into a good position to play that shot. He um, gets back and across, and uh, he really did get underneath that one and up that's on its way, and the Sri Lankan flags are flying down there. He's almost hit the ball into the crowd down there. The other guy goes back and across, and whack, up she goes. He's actually moved behind the back crease as he's uh, hit that one, and uh, have a look at the Sri Lankan. Magnificent shot, beautiful drive outside off stump. The ball just short of a length, but still not quite reached the fence because the outfield is quite heavy. And um, three runs result. Murphy's not very happy. It's five for 231. 15. Well, leg break from Murphy's, which beats Dean Jones. 
Now, is he going to slide? Yes, he is. Oh, dear, I hate to see that. And he's caught himself in the underneath the tin there. And that, see, that could have been, that could have been a broken ankle. He's actually not the first bloke to get himself caught up underneath uh, those uh, boards down there. We've seen that happen before, but he was very close. He wasn't quite sure what to do there. He was very close to the uh, edge and then decided to go down and try and trap the ball. And uh, it looks as if he's uh, have just uh, bruised himself a little bit, but you're quite right. Could so easily end up in him breaking. He's hit that in the air, and it's going straight to Lawson, over the top. In fact, it's hit the fence down there before bouncing over the rail, so I suspect that's four. And uh, four, of course, is signal. So once again, going for it, Lawson coming in off the line there. He wouldn't have uh, caught it had it been straight to him, I shouldn't think. Well, he would have had a chance if he'd been on the fence because actually hit the top rail. He hit it pretty well. Lawson was just a fraction squarer and in front of the fence. So four more to Aravinda. Change in bowling from the Walter Street end. Well, he's hit that high, wide, and handsome. He likes hooking Carl Rackerman. He hit him for six yesterday. He's level with Wedamuni now on 96, and Sri Lanka six for 307. In the air and just wide of Mark Taylor at second slip. And that's his 100. Well done, little fella. very relieved young man in a very well deserved century it's a fantastic performance he's really worked hard from the moment he got to the wicket 100 runs including the six fours and one six 246 balls 351 minutes he sweated and worked hard throughout each one of those minutes and really deserves the 100 he's got not a bad delivery from Carl Rackerman pretty well on line good bit of bounce got a thick outside edge Mark Taylor's despairing dive at slip wasn't good enough to stop it racing down to the Benson and Hedges sign to bring up a very well-deserved test century. In the air, wide of Murph Hughes and away for a boundary. That's a very good shot. It wasn't a bad ball. It was over middle stump and he had to get himself in a good position hooked it in the air but uh, nice and wide at Murph Hughes and that produces a record seventh wicket partnership for Sri Lanka in all test matches and that's over Hughes head one bounce and onto the dog track well hit Seven thirty Friday. He's a private eye with a Texan style. I wouldn't give you the lint out of my shorts. A hootin' tootin' straight shootin' cowboy who won't take no for an answer. Meet JJ. JJ Starbuck here. Mr. JJ Starbuck is worth well over a billion. One hundred and eleven to Aravinda de Silva. Thirty-three to Ravi Ratnayaka. And Border himself now comes into the attack. Beautiful shot. Absolutely raced away to the boundary. Six for 337, just 30 behind. And there's the 100 partnership for Ratnayaka and Aravinda de Silva. Beautiful shot again. 
great placement. Alan Border making another change. It's going to be Tom Moody. That's a nice, great glance. A beauty. Rackerman won't get that. It's beautifully placed. Well, the run's coming now with good placements, excellent deflection. That waited for the ball to come onto the bat, opened the face, raced away for four. Very well played. He just sat back and waited for that. That's a beautiful shot. Kept that down. Perhaps he didn't bounce as much as Merv Hughes wanted, but it was a lovely shot from Aravinda to Silva, who now goes to 150. This time he goes over the top and he's on that pretty well. Tom Moody can't get near it. And that's right off the meat of the bat. Hit it well wide of Lawson and it hits the fence on the full. And Sri Lanka, nine for 416. And that's cleared fine leg. No. Jeffrey Lawson gets it right on the fence. That uh, hook shot going into the wind, just slightly top edged. And uh, Aravinda da Silva is out for 167. And Sri Lanka finally dismissed for 418. A lead of 51. Tremendous innings there from Aravinda da Silva.